Hello again! Welcome back to Faulty Circuits. Today, we're reading about love language. Princess Helen, it's time for your portrait, Majesty! The maid bowed low. Her long gray braids swept over her matronly figure. Helen sighed. Today, on her 15th birthday, she was to begin her duty as a sovereign daughter. A princess was expected to help usher in peace through marriage. A good match would create a covenant of kingdoms, with prosperity to follow for both. I would dash it all away for a life of romance, you know, she said more to a little bird on her finger than to Hilda, busy tightening the stays on her corset. As such, she could not see the maid roll her eyes. Ready, Majesty. I'll call in the royal painter. Hilda rose to open the door and called in the painter. Little chirping birds and butterflies stirred up and flitted about the room. Imagine being so inbred you think you can talk to birds, Hilda thought silently. The painter entered dutifully with his easel and satchel of accoutrement. He set up quickly, expertly executing not one, but three portraits over a matter of days. The king was extremely pleased. It didn't hurt that his underage daughter was unusually good-looking for someone of blue blood. She had fine features and thick strawberry golden waves of cascading hair. She didn't resemble him at all. Furthermore, there was a selection of three princely suitors to negotiate a contract with, so all three portraits would be shipped out straight away. By land, by sea, by carrier turkey, the paintings all found their way to neighboring kingdoms, where the three princes of marriageable age sat in waiting. Prince Hector received three different portraits on the same day. His manservant, Hilda, set them up for individual reveal. He sighed resignedly. The time had come for him to do his duty as a sovereign prince and negotiate a bride-to-be. This is the Princess Lola Highness, Hilda brushed aside his long grey braids and pulled the cloth cover from the first portrait. Hector gasped. She was mostly eyebrow. In fact, her eyes were entirely obscured by the frondly bushiness of hair. Ah! Oh, she looks like my Aunt Merrill! He swiped the painting left off the easel. It crashed to the ground. She is your cousin, Highness, Hilda stated, smoothing his frock over his matronly form. Next one? Hector nodded. Hilda pulled the cover from the next painting. This is the Princess Tula, Highness. The princess had as much chin as face and beady little eyes. Good God, she looks like my mother! He swiped this one left off the easel too, harder this time. She is your cousin, Highness. Hilda turned away to roll his eyes. What did he expect with his whole family urinating in its own gene pool? Hector gesticulated to uncover the third one. Hilda obliged. His jaw dropped. This is the Princess Helen, Highness. She's beautiful, he inhaled sharply, looked at it for a moment longer, then swiped it right. She is your cousin, Highness. Of course she is, Hilda. I'm gorgeous. Call the artist. I must find out if the interest is mutual. The next country over, Helen was busy singing a song to the centipedes in her royal bedroom. Hilda entered the chamber. Highness, Portraits have arrived for you from three different princes. All three princes we sent to have expressed interest. Helen clasped her delicate hands together. How exciting! I may yet get to live a life of romance. Show them, show them! Hilda lined up the covered paintings to reveal one by one. This is the Prince Sven, she said, revealing the portrait. Helen shrieked. It was an oil painting of an erection. He looks like my Uncle Sal! She swiped the painting left. It went flying. Hilda revealed the next one. It was also an oily dick. Swiped left. And finally, the portrait of Hector. Or rather, the portrait of Hector's stiff phallus. Left, left, and left. You must choose one of them, princess, Hilda chided. No, no, I think not. Let us only hope that in five hundred years from now, in the year 2020, that men will have learned a better way to show their affections. In the meantime, Hilda, please pack these paintings up and ship them directly to the mothers of these princes. 
I'm sure that she'll be most proud. The end. See you next time.